Some scientists have suggested that anything is possible given enough time. But there's some fundamentally flawed logic behind evolutionary theories. And we'll find that key components in your child's science textbook are faith-based beliefs, not facts. Find out more on this episode of Wonders Without Numbers. Let's take you to a cave. This one's famous, it's in Australia. The bush rangers found it first and used to live there. It's called Janolden Cave. I went back there just a few years ago, but they told me the caves were 400 million years old. Something's wrong with the philosophy of time out there. Most of the people who do geology never go measuring stalactites. Okay. So they're giving you hearsay because it suits their religious philosophy yeah. of wanting to put God out because they can substitute time for God. Right, they're missing one process. really process. That's exactly right. <laughs> so here's what we did, though. We invented the world's first stalactite machine. Would you like to buy one? <laughs> There's not much of a market for these. Do you see the stalactite growing? Right there. That started one year ago exactly. Right? Really? Yeah, but you know what else we're doing? We've got a guy who's a biologist whose PhD is in bacteriology. Okay. And I said to him, Paul, I said, here's my suspicion. It's the bacteria that are actually causing the stalactites to grow, even in the caves. That's why when there's mulch there and water, uh -huh. the bacteria can move and they chomp it up and they reprecipitate it, just like they uh -huh. deposit lime in your body. What I've seen over the last few minutes are experimentation. And it's actually pointing to creation, not billions of years right. of time. No, the time is eliminated. You cannot say the Bible can't be right because the state caves take millions of years. Yeah. No, they don't. They take the right process. That's and when right. the process is right, the time you don't need at all.